the top five regrets of those that are on their last days on this earth, the dying. Um, I think those people are sometimes the ones that can give us the most inspirational and motivational and wise words that uh, uh, we as humans can can uh, can listen to. And that's why I wanted to bring this video to you guys. A few weeks ago, someone requested that I make a motivational video at the beginning of the 2013 year. And I did this last year, and I wanted to do it this year with the spin on it. And I wanted to incorporate... Uh, the five regrets of the dying, the top five regrets of, uh, of people that are dying. Because I really think that these are the people that give us those words that truly matter. They are at their last stages and they're able to look over their entire lives and say, uh, what could I have changed? What do I wish I changed so that I would be happier at this, you know, at these last moments of my life? And so I want you guys to pay close attention to these five uh, regrets. I think that they're really important, and I think that just reading them and kind of touching on each one of them shortly is truly, truly inspirational, and I hope you guys really pay attention to it, because I think it's, there are five things that each and every one of us can totally uh, pimp it up in, in life, and don't ever forget these five steps, you know, there's, it's, they're, they're all extremely important. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just start reading these off, and I'm going to touch just a little bit on each one. I, I, I didn't read the article that I got these from. I knew they were out there. I went ahead and Googled them, and I have the article uh, down below if you guys want to read more. But I specifically didn't read what they said underwards, under the, the each specific one so that I could hopefully give my own two cents on them, and hopefully it's not too similar to what it says. But anyways, the, <clears throat> the number one, the number one most regretted, most regretted thing that dying people think feel is, uh, I wish I'd had the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life others expected of me. So uh, I, I, I've spoken about, I think, a handful of times how important it is to follow a path that is true to yourself. Um, if your parents want you to be a doctor, but you want to be uh, a musician, I think by all means, you should be a musician. If that's what truly uh, drives your passion and your motivation and, and, and uh, the dreams that you have in the future that you want to succeed at and, and attain, be a musician. Don't be afraid to step out of that zone and say, you know what, I know what I want and I'm going to go for it. I'm not going to be somebody, uh, I'm not going to be someone that other people want me to be because, you know, when you get to those last few days, you're going to be so disappointed that you didn't try to be Superman. You wanted to always be Superman since you were a little kid and you never gave it a shot. So, I think you guys should try to be Superman. I don't think you should be afraid. The second one is, I wish I hadn't worked so hard. We as human beings are extremely, extremely busy. We have lives that I think as the years progress with all this technology and all this stuff, <clears throat> you'd think that life would get easier, would get easier, but I think that it gets more complicated. And I think it's important for us to make sure that when life gets tough, we we tell ourselves, I know when to take a break, I know when to relax, and I know when to stop and enjoy life. Don't get too caught up in this uh, schedule of life, you know. There's there's times for working hard and there's times for relaxing. That's why we're here on this earth, to live our life. And uh, that's, that's a very important concept. So don't ever forget to live your life, no matter how busy you are. Set time aside to enjoy yourself, to enjoy your time here on this earth. Um, the third one is, I wish I had the courage to express my feelings. I think this one's kind of hard to analyze in a sense, but uh, how I want to relate this one is if you're unhappy in your life, don't ever be afraid to get up and walk away and start a new life. If you're in, unhappy in uh, a career, don't be afraid to take that step and go, I'm so unhappy, but you know what? I'm going to do this for myself. and I'm going to leave this career and I'm going to start a new path because I'm unhappy. If you find yourself in a relationship that you're unhappy in and you are so insecure about being single that you stay in the relationship and continue being unhappy, have the confidence and the love for yourself to go, you know what, I know I'm a great person. I know I deserve better and I can be single for however long I need to to find that person. I'm going to walk away from this relationship. So don't be afraid to express your feelings. So that's what I got from the third one. Now the fourth one is I wish I had stayed in touch with my friends. This one is so on par because I think as we get older, and trust me guys, from the time I graduated from high school to where I am right now in college, uh, a handful of my friends I no longer speak to. And, and a few of them I have legitimate reasons for not speaking to. But what I will say, guys, is that the friends that are true to you, the friends that are your best friends, keep them close to you forever. And I don't care how far away you live. I don't care how close you are to them. If someone's important in you, important to you, keep them in your life. You know, G-Money and I are best friends, no doubt. 
and uh, we live in two different states. We talk all the time. So if it's important to keep a friendship strong, I guarantee both of you guys will do it as long as you put the effort forth. And I think that it's important to keep those good friends by your side because, you know what, those are going to be the ones that are always there for you. So I'm sure you heard that before, but that's kind of what I got from the fourth one. The last one is I wish that I had let myself be happier. And this kind of correlates with uh, with number three, I think. But I think this is truly coming to an agreement with yourself and knowing that you're going to pursue a life of happiness. And uh, you're not going to give up until you find that. A lot of people settle. A lot of people uh, get caught up in studying a career because it makes a lot of money. But they forget that their core values rely in in a different life that would make them happier and that they end up chasing money and in the long run they're going to be unhappy so I think that uh, you guys need to open yourselves up and let yourself be happy you know chase the things that make you happy be the person that makes you happy be with the people that make you happy and do things that make you happy and don't ever forget that you know life I think uh, it's about living it's about enduring the good and the bad but you know what while we're here we might as well enjoy the the good things as much as we can and I think that's something that we all can work on uh, you know throughout our lives so guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that these five things really stick in your minds you know that uh, I, 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 I this just is something that really hit me and I, I figured I'd wanted to share it with you guys because I thought this is really interesting you know uh, hearing it from people that are that are on their few days to death you know what are these people going God I wish I would have changed this about my life so that I could be happier at this point right now and I think that's something that's really impacting and I hope that you guys take that to heart and while you're still young and while you can still make those choices and even if you're old there is no point at which you can't change your life around you know I made a video last year the the first of first of January last year I made a video called I believe it's called any day can be a changing day and I'll end with that and that means that no matter what day in the year that you choose you can set a resolution any day of the year and you can change your life any day of the year you do not need New Year's to set resolutions you do not need New Year's to justify a change in your life make it any damn day you want and remember to pursue a life of happiness guys thank you so much for the time you spent on this video truly hope you enjoyed it as always stay fly and stay fresh and I will catch you all later peace